At Salt Haven, we are painfully aware of the human impact on our environment. Litter is one of those problems, one that we can actively see and actively do something about. You have the choice to recycle and dispose of it properly, but when you don't, you give wildlife no choice but to live in it. At Salt Haven, we see the effects of the expansionary us on the environment, and not just with litter. Simple things we discard every day, like thread, dental floss, fishing line. If not disposed of appropriately, they can have a catastrophic effect on the wildlife everywhere. The swing is fractured right at the wrist and uh, it's, just, it's just held on basically by skin. Another area that all too many people don't consider seriously enough are our pets that are given too much freedom to run loose. Quite often, animals admitted to Salt Haven as victims of pet attacks are the least likely to survive. The pathogenic nature of a pinprick puncture from a cat's tooth can destroy any chance of rehabilitation. Being a cautious driver isn't just for your own safety, but when animals are struck by vehicles or windows, the head trauma can be beyond reparation and result in further complications, leaving the animal more susceptible to diseases, predators, and mite infestations. There's hardly any hooks and barbs left on the covert feathers. Fortunately enough, his flight feathers are still intact, but these mice, look at his back feathers here. They're shredded. Sometimes, even with the best of intentions, our actions can mean the end of an animal's future in the wild. Some people choose to take baby animals home with them, but in doing so, the baby becomes habituated to humans, meaning they don't realize they're a wild animal. And when they get big and need to leave, they cannot survive as a wild animal in the environment as they were meant to. This often happens with fawns, but this bald eagle that was admitted had no idea what he was, and his habituation led to further physical complications so he had to be euthanized. Much of the human impact is acted on in ignorance. We simply don't know what we're doing is detrimental to wildlife, like the use of rodent sites. Rodenticide actually takes effect on birds of prey that ingest affected rodents then they too become poisoned and bleed internally. Whether it be inappropriate garbage disposal, roadside casualties, family pets given too much freedom, habituation or poisoning, the answer and solution to these challenges begins with you. I'm Brian Salt, helping you to keep the wild and wildlife.